Want to stay updated, informed, and inspired? Tune in to Tracks of Momentum Monday through Fridays as we bring you a special feature interview each day of the work week at 11.15 a.m. Join us as we speak to our panel of experts, luminaries, well-known personalities, and achievers on various topics. Every Monday, Health on Tracks FM. Tuesdays, Spectrum focusing on a topic pertaining to youth, arts, and culture. What matters on Wednesdays? Face to face with our guests on Thursdays. And on Fridays, tune in to W Talk. Tracks Momentum, Monday through Fridays, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., only on Tracks FM. This is Tracks Momentum on Tracks FM. Hi, and good morning to our guest via phone this morning. It's Mr. Koi Chunwi, pharmacist from the Pharmacy Enforcement Division, Ministry of Health. Good morning, Mr. Chunwi. Hi, good morning, Nigel. How Hi. are you doing? Yeah, I'm great. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But I, I just found out as well, you, you have a little baby that's two months old. Congratulations to you and the wife. Ah, thank you very much. Right. Thanks. Baby boy, baby girl? It's a baby boy. Baby boy. What's the baby's name? Uh, it's called Levi. Levi. Yeah. Wow. Rock and roll. <laughs> there you go. Th- those are some of the new names. Did you have to look the name up in a, uh, did you look for the latest trend of names or, or is it something that's uh, close to your heart? Uh, it's something close to my heart. Fantastic. And my wife, actually. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Well, congratulations yep. to the both of you. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Okay. There you go. Now down to business, Mr. Chun Wei. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, do medicine advertisements require approval? That's that's what we want to talk about o- over here this morning. Yeah. And mm-hmm. uh, the question goes: Looking at the high number of advertisements involving medicinal products and health services nowadays, is there any control over such advertisements? Okay. So for advertisements for medicines and health services, uh, they are regulated under the pro. Vision of Medicines Advertisement and Sales Act, 1956. So in short form, we call it as MASA, 1956. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, mm-hmm. so this act, it defines advertisement as uh, any notice, circular, pamphlet, package, or announcement made orally, or even video, those things that produces light and sound. Or in layman terms, uh, an advertisement is a notification to the public to draw the people's attention to the product or service offered. So currently, there are two entities that play a major role in regulating uh, these advertisements. Uh, so they are the Medicine Advertisement Board, uh, in short form we call it as MAB, and also the Pharmacy Enforcement Division under Ministry of Health Malaysia. Mm-hmm. And and mm-hmm. yeah, and, and the way they advertise things says. Uh, wait, I'll, I'll go on with the questions here first, and then I'll go a, 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 bit, a bit free with some questions that are on the layman's okay. mind. Yeah, um, okay, sure. what is the difference uh, in the role played by the medicine advertisement board (MAB) and the pharmacy enforcement division in regulating the control of medical advertisements? Okay, so generally, MAB's role is to approve advertisements for medicines and health services in accordance to the uh, MASA 1956. So this advertisement submitted to MAD will be reviewed to ensure that they comply with the current legal requirements before being approved for publication. As for the Pharmacy Enforcement Division, it plays a role in enforcing the requirements of the MASA 1956 uh, through the implementation of various activities such as screening, monitoring of advertisement, as well as reads, investigations, and mm-hmm. prosecutions in court. Wow, okay. Yep. So these two entities, uh, MAB and the Pharmacy Enforcement Division, work hand-in-hand hand towards ensuring that all medicine advertisement in Malaysia is done correctly. Mm. Mm. Okay, it's, it's deeper than that. Huh? We'll get into that later, yeah? Uh, okay. how, uh, how does the Pharmacy Enforcement Division view current trends in medicine advertising? Okay, so medicine advertisement nowadays has actually shown a shift in the way and medium of its advertising. In the past, the main mode of advertisement were mostly in printed media, for Mm -hmm. example, newspapers, television, and radio. But now the trend has shifted to online mediums, like Mm -hmm. using websites, e-commerce platforms, uh, social media, or maybe communication applications like Telegram, Mm -hmm. WhatsApp. And so now in this COVID-19 pandemic, 
the online sales have increased a lot. So more consumers now are more prone to make online purchases than before. Mm-hmm. So this leads to the increase in advertisement online to attract the customers. Right. And from our side, we can see that more advertisement, mm. I would say, are irresponsible. Right. They use misleading and exaggerated claims, mm. statements, or maybe false user testimonials just to attract the consumer attention. Yes, yes, yes. So it's become a lot more complicated for you uh, and everybody mm-hmm. working there right now, yeah? <laughs> yeah. I bet. I can imagine, you know. It, it must be crazy because the amount of things that we see, uh, people mm-hmm. claiming all kinds of things, even even with COVID and ivermectin yeah. and, and stuff that you yeah. should be giving the horses, they're telling you yeah. to take it and, and, you know, you'll be fine, yeah? Yes, uh, that's right. And, and what are the key features uh, of medicine advertisements that are not approved by the MAB? So first of all, only a registered medicine with a Ministry of Health can be advertised. So once the advertisement is approved by MAB, they will be given an approval number, or also known as KKLIU number. Mm-hmm. So the advertiser, they have to actually show and display these numbers. These approval numbers can be used for three calendar years. Okay. So back to our question, the most prominent features uh, of the advertisement not approved by MAB are those advertisements, advertisements without the KKLIU approval number. Mm-hmm. Okay, so besides that, uh, medicine advertisement which contain certain statements, there are 20 types of diseases that are listed in the MASA 1956 will not be approved by the MAB. Mm-hmm. So among these diseases, uh, for example, uh, hypertension, diabetes, and cancer. These are all not allowed to be advertised by the MAB. For the full list of the 20 diseases, you can actually find it at our portal, pharmacy.gov.my. And apart from these 20 diseases, uh, certain conditions, for example, abortion, uh, improved heart or kidney function, or sexual performance, these are the conditions that also not allowed to be uh, advertised by the MAB. Right. And, mm-hmm. and, and they, they have, they're very de- deceitful, yeah? Uh, yes. in, in the ways they do it, they sometimes, you know, they, like, like for example, sugar. And, mm-hmm. and uh, they would come up with so many different names for sugar. They'll tell you sugar, very low content of sugar, yes. But they yes. would use other products that are sugar, but in a different name, uh, and fructose, yes, right. fructose mm-hmm. or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And and uh, do you take action for them because of, of them deceiving people as well, or, or you can't take action? Okay, so this one will go to our uh, enforcement division. Mm-hmm. So we, yes, we can take action on this kind of irresponsible claims. Good. Or advertisements. Right. Mm-hmm. So, so it, it's taken, yeah? And, and a lot yes. of them, yeah, uh, you know, we, we find them talking about cancer a lot of the times. Uh, yes. If not, they will say uh, they have what do you call that? Uh, they have these things in there that you know toxins that cause cancer. Although they won't say directly that you know mm-hmm. they cure cancer, but they they would relate yes. something to cancer. And once you read that word, that cancer, you know you feel like ah, this thing helps me in some way towards cancer, right? Yes. When uh, people get uh, to the last point, they mm-hmm. got nothing to do. They they can't do anything else, so they will try to go for these uh, advertisements. Mm. That give a false promise, right? False hopes. Yes. Right. What are the What are the worst ones that you're seeing now in the country that that the people should be aware of? Okay. So for this pandemic, definitely is the COVID nineteen claim. Mm-hmm. We have seen tons of that. So they say after taking this, it can cure COVID nineteen. So these are the most trending nowadays, especially mm. on online. You, you, they can cure COVID nineteen. That's that's the one, right? <laughs> yeah. And, and definitely, uh, you know, if they found it, you know, then uh, the whole community, the whole medical uh, community in the world, would be dying <laughs> to get their paws on it, right? Yes, that's right. That's right. <laughs> and this company that runs somewhere in Sungai Pinang or, or wherever it is, <laughs> yeah, or yeah, in that's... in Ampang or somewhere, you know, yeah, already found right. the cure. Oh. Yeah. 
dangerous. Yeah. Yes. What is the risk mm-hmm. of purchasing medicines from uh, advertisements posted without approval from MAB? Oh, there are a lot. It's a lot. Mm. Uh, so there are advertisements on you know the twenty diseases that I mentioned just now. Yeah. So they say uh, this type of advertisement they can cure the, the product can cure these twenty diseases. Mm-hmm. But in actual fact, these diseases normally can only be controlled. You can't be healed. Mm. You can't get fully yeah recovered. You can't. Right. Mm-hmm. And and it's all deceiving. Yeah, very deceitful. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. I, I am going to deceive a lot of people now, okay? Hang on. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mr. Right. Ch- Mr. Chun, we just give me one minute and 53 seconds. I'm going okay. to play a song right now that will make people feel like they're drinking coconut water. Hang in there. Okay. All right. Fancy a fresh cup of tea and scones? Then head on to Cameron Hyman's. Trax FM 101.1. This is Tracks Momentum, our guest on the phone lines this morning, Mr. Koi Chunwi, Pharmacist, Pharmacy Enforcement Division, Ministry of Health. And did you feel like you just had a whole load of coconuts over there, Mr. Chunwi? Uh, yeah. See, there you go. False advertising, isn't it? Yes. So we're talking, we're talking about uh, false advertising, uh, medicine and the kind of approvals that are required for it. And the risk of purchasing medicines from advertisements posted without approval from MAB is where we stopped last. And uh, it's very important that you actually, people have got to know how to look out for, for the uh, approval. Where do they find it on, on the medicines that they buy, Mr. Chunwi? Okay. So uh, advertisement advertised without the MAB's approval mm-hmm. it contain any misleading statements just to attract the consumers to purchase the products. So they may, they may be at risk of obtaining unregistered medicines, mm-hmm. falsified medicines, or products adulterated with scheduled poisons or controlled medicines right. that can be harmful to health without doctor's uh, supervision. Mm-hmm. And consumer might be also exposed to the risk of wrongful medication due to in- accurate information obtained through consultation from mm-hmm. unauthorized individuals. Or maybe they, will, they may purchase medicines from illegal sources. So these are all the risks. Mm. Okay. A-, a lot of that going around right now, yeah? Yes. And especially right. for COVID-19. But besides COVID-19, what else do they, do they attack? Uh, what else do they, you know, where do they take advantage of a lot of people? Uh, the most prominent one is, uh, I would say, maybe cancer. Okay. Or maybe something to do with the sexual performance. Mm. 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 That one definitely the guys, I tell you. Uh, you fellas yeah. uh, all cannot <laughs> behave, huh? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, but it's so risky, isn't it? I mean, mm, you, yes. you, might, you might, I mean, if you're not seeking professional help, you might actually, you know, make the situation worse for yourself, right? Yes, that's and, right. And in, in, the, in the process, you lose your other, other parts as well, not just, you know, uh, the ability for whatever it is. You, you lose maybe your kidneys, right? <laughs> yes, that's right. That's true. Mm. So, yeah, um, that's very dangerous, yeah? And, mm. and, uh, what else did I want to ask you? I've got so many questions on my mind, and they're all shooting through my head at once, and I and I just can't pin one down. But what about other things as well? Um, sometimes you get like big corporations who uh, advertise in a certain way, and and they don't come right out and and say it. But you know, sometimes they say that their milk formula is better than mother's for, for mother's milk. Uh, okay, so these types they are uh, more on to the food. So mm-hmm. when it comes to food, food is not actually part of uh. MAB's purview. All right. So, uh, on, for MAB, only uh, medicines, advertisement, and also health services. Mm. Uh, so, when it comes to something like food, mm-hmm. uh, you can get uh, more information on this with the BKKM, which is, uh, which is the, uh, again, quality makanan. Okay. Yeah. Right. So a lot of people might not be aware that there is a division mm. for that as well, yeah? Yes, yes, that's right. Okay, very good. So medicines is, is what your, your forte is and, and uh, being a pharmacist and stuff like How did you get into being a pharmacist, Mr. Koi? Oh, okay. So for, uh, to be a pharmacist, you have to go through you know, the usual way. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know before. the usual way. No, I became a <laughs> DJ. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go to uh, 
university to study for four to five years. Ah, that's uh, why I became yeah. a DJ. <laughs> 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 then you also had to go through training for a year All right. in, uh, in the hospitals. Then only you can qual- you are qualified as a pharmacist. Mm. Is it is it a difficult job to actually be a pharmacist? Uh, it depends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, it depends. Right. But yes, we got uh, different challenges when doing all these things. Correct. <laughs> I think one of one of the uh, uh, extra skill that would be required to be a pharmacist would be mm-hmm. uh, your your people skills. And, and your mm-hmm. ability to, to be nice to people and the way you talk to people and the way you care about what a person wants. I think that, you yeah. know, like I would go back to a pharmacy uh, where I saw the person was really paying attention to what my problem was and listening, as in really listening to what I was saying and not just hearing what I was saying. Yeah. Right. Yes, that's right. And that's right. Yeah. So if you're somebody out there who's a pharmacist and listening to now the king of pharmacists himself, Mr. <laughs> Koei Chun Wee, <laughs> yeah, you want to remember that. I think as a lay person, that's where that's where we come from. If you if you don't have that extra bit of service mm-hmm. for the people, where you are nice to a person and you care about, you know, like if you come back after one week and and the pharmacist turns around and tells you, "How's your toothache today?" You know, wow. <laughs> you know, you will go back to that yeah. pharmacy over and over again. Right. Yes, that's right. That's right. <laughs> mm, okay. Okay. Come on. back to my questions over here, Mr. Barrett. Yourself over here is our producer. He's looking at me from the window over there, waiting to throw the chair at me. You know, Mr. Quay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are the enforcement activities taken by the pharmacy enforcement division in an effort to curb the publication of medicine advertisements that violate the provisions of this law? Okay. So first of all, the pharmacy enforcement division. Uh, we continuously conduct various activities to ensure that only registered medicinal products are sold in the Malaysian market. So these are safe and effective. And another, another thing that we do is to monitor and screen the publication of medicine advertisements mm-hmm. in all media, including online, so, uh, social media, newspapers. And uh, other than that, okay, this we also have to go to the highway to the roadside or maybe business premises mm-hmm. to conduct monitoring on the billboards. So right. billboards is also a type of advertisement. Mm-hmm. So these all monitoring activities are conducted by the pharmacy enforcement officers at the HQ and also the state enforcement branches. Mm-hmm. And yeah, lastly, we also uh, conduct a lot of awareness activities uh, with or maybe engagement sessions with various uh, stakeholders, including online platform operators, or maybe what we are doing now, we are educating the people, private hospitals, uh, advertising agencies, mm-hmm. and also consumer groups. Mm. Do, and, they, do yeah. they cooperate with you, or are they just like, you know, I, I don't care, it's not my problem, it's, it's your problem, you know, uh, <laughs> and they just want the money to, to advertise and stuff like that. Do they cooperate? Are they, uh, you know? Yes. A Most lot of them, they are cooperate, yes. Yeah? And, and if they don't, yeah. the people can complain if the people come across something. You know, because we don't expect your eyes to be on every single product there is out yeah, there. Because right. you, you can't that's have right. eyes on everything. It's understandable, yeah. right? And, yeah, that's right. And uh, how do people actually get, uh, you know, report this if they're, or if they're not sure, if they want to know if this is something valid? Uh, is it something that really does what it says? Uh, is it approved by your board? How do they go mm-hmm. about that? Okay, so uh, we have actually... Uh, uh, portal, our pharmacy.gov.my, mm-hmm. you can log on to there, uh, you can, there's a number, uh, you can call that number to make a complaint to us. Mm-hmm. Repeat please. Uh, pharmacy.gov.my. Pharmacy.gov.my. Yes, so uh, our number is uh, stated there, so okay. you can call us to make a complaint. Mm-hmm. Pharmacy.gov.my, yeah? Yeah. Get onto that website over there and, and keep that handy in your phone. Keep that number there. Anytime, if you're somebody who's always taking medicines, yeah, you might want to keep that handy. Some people just love to take medicines, don't they? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> to improve on something. <laughs> right? No, I'm, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not encouraging, I'm not condoning anybody to take too much medicine all the time, right? Yeah. Uh, but, you know, some people actually do. You know, it's like every time you see mm. them, they're going for some health problem. You meet them at the hospital, is their famous place, right? <laughs> I'm going for this checkup, I'm going for that checkup. It's like, is there any part of your body you haven't checked up yet? You know? <laughs> Uh, yes. Yeah, and, and uh, what are the penalties that can be imposed on the publication of advertisements that are found to violate the provisions of the law in force? 
Okay, so under the Masa 1956, any person who participates in advertising activities that violate the act, mm -hmm. once convicted, they can be punished for the first offence, uh, a fine not exceeding 3,000 ringgit Malaysia, or imprisonment not exceeding one year, or both. Mm. As for the subsequent offences, a fine not exceeding 5,000 ringgit, or imprisonment not exceeding two years, or both. Mm. So this penalty can be imposed on all parties involved in the publication of the advertisement. Right. This includes the broadcaster as well. The broadcaster? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's time to play a song right now. <laughs> do, do you think the penalties are heavy enough? 3,000 ringgit, you know? A lot of people might just say, never mind, if I made 50,000, so what? what is 3,000, right? Uh, yeah, it depends. Mm. So if, but now we are, we are trying to, you know, to renew, to see get it heavier, to yeah, it. yeah, to see again. Because this massa act, uh, we didn't change for quite some time, right? So now we are on the way. Well, please, do, please do, yeah. yeah? And and on <laughs> yeah. top of that, you know what you should do? Make them swallow their own medicine. <laughs> yeah, okay. make them take it. Say, you know, since you're so confident it works, you take it. You know, you you swallow <laughs> one hundred bottles nonstop, and then on top of that, you <laughs> pay the fine, right? <laughs> and see how it goes. Hmm. These people, I tell you, yeah, I mean, come on, you know, at, at the expense of somebody else. It's such a mean mm -hmm. thing to do. And you're playing with another person's life. And like you mentioned earlier, uh, Mr. Mm -hmm. Chun Wee, you said, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. people are desperate because, you know, they don't know what to do. And, yeah. and you know, they're, they're like hanging on to whatever hope they get. And anything yeah. that comes along with a little bit of promise, they, yeah. they go for it, right? Yes, and to take right, advantage right. of somebody in that situation, you are horrible, you know? Yes, it's you, a very irresponsible act. Yeah, it's it's a very horrible thing to do. And people can mm -hmm. complain and, and, and they can go and find out if they come across uh, medicines that are suspicious. Go to pharmacy.gov.my and, and, you know, uh, check out the website and you'll be able to f see what's over there, the phone numbers and call and find out. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. What else would you advise consumers and, and sellers regarding this issue? Okay, so um, to the seller, I would say just be a responsible seller. Mm-hmm. Please ensure that you are only selling registered medicines and source them from a legitimate supply chain. Mm -hmm. And then ensure that the medicine advertisement uh, that are published has been approved by the MAB. Mm. And they are still within the validity period. Right. And make sure the MAB approval number, the KKLIU number, is displayed clearly. Uh huh. Yeah, so just be a responsible seller and advertiser. Right. And as for consumer, always be cautious and vigilant. And mm -hmm. don't be easily influenced by the advertisements. Right. Especially those with exaggerated and false medical claims. Mm. Or those that are not approved by the MAB. Correct. Yeah, and then choose registered medicines. So go to the pharmacy and buy the medicines instead of some uh, random site online. Mm -hmm. so, 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 yeah, yeah, go on, go on, sorry, go on. Okay, so bef before all these things, uh, just now I also forgot to mention that all the advertisement that has been approved by the NAB, so they comes with a KKLIU number, you can actually verify this number at our website, the one that I've mentioned just now. Mm -hmm. Pharmacy. Yeah. Yes, yes, and and right. sometimes you know the 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 names and the terminologies that they use. They they got all kinds of things. They sound very fancy, and mm -hmm. and we don't realize it's just sugar or or <laughs> you know and, or, or it's just something else. And and you know, yes. is there a way of people checking what these uh, items are? I mean, yeah, you can Google them. You can mm -hmm. you can normally Google, and I sometimes do that, right? But you know, mm -hmm. the the problem is. A lot of times what they do first is, is they print it in such small print, you can't read it, uh -huh. so you won't be bothered to read it because it's so yeah, small. that's right. And <laughs> that's right. That's yeah, right. It's, it's just like, you know, when they, they make you buy a house or anything and they come, they, they just give you a whole stack and they sign money. here, sign here, sign here, <laughs> all the X, you know, you just sign. And you don't know what you're yeah. signing, but you just sign just to get over with it, right? Yes. So, so sometimes part of our job, mm -hmm. the MAB, when they apply for the advertisement, we have to make sure everything is displayed play correctly mm. uh, you know the, the the terms and conditions or right. the small words at the bottom left of the advertisement mm -hmm. so these all can be very misleading 
So we have to ensure that all these are displayed properly in the mm. advertisement. Yep. Right. Wow. So much of con jobs going on, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, people are, are, you know, are going through all kinds of ways to, to, to con in their ways. I mean, even in organic farming and everything, the way mm-hmm. the cons are going on, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Yep. And and in medicines, of course, we will come across all this. Yeah. Oh boy. Anything else that you like to add, Mister Mister Chunwei? Uh, okay. Just lastly, I would say just be cautious mm-hmm. when, especially to the consumer. Right. Just be cautious. Be careful. And yeah, if, if you are not sure, you can always go to the doctors, the pharmacy mm-hmm. to get a proper consultation. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and yep. yeah. Yeah, you need to go to a proper person to, to find out all that, yeah? Yes. Well, yes, I thank yes. you so much for talking to us today. Uh, you can talk to us some more if you want to, really. I, I'm enjoying my conversation with you. You don't have to put down the phone if you don't want. <laughs> <laughs> my producers are looking at me like, what, what are yeah. you doing? Huh? I've, got, I've got Barrett, the man over here, who wants to say thank you to you as well, and Lisham, the man who wants to say thank you to you. And from all of us yeah, at Tracks FM, thank you. From the yeah, listeners welcome. of Tracks FM as well, Thank you, Mr. Koi chun pharmacist from the Pharmacy Enforcement Division, Ministry of Health. Uh, have a lovely day, and thank you for the gift of your time, sir. All right. You're welcome, everyone. <laughs> Take care, yeah? You too. And give little baby a hug from all the listeners of tracks. <laughs> Go on. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Want to stay updated, informed, and inspired? Tune in to Tracks and Momentum Monday through Fridays as we bring you a special feature interview each day of the work week at 11.15 a.m. Join us as we speak to our panel of experts, luminaries, well-known personalities and achievers on various topics. Every Monday, Health on Tracks FM. Tuesdays, Spectrum focusing on a topic pertaining to youth, arts and culture. What matters on Wednesdays? Face to face with our guests on Thursdays. And on Fridays, tune in to W Talk. Tracks Momentum, Monday through Fridays, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., only on Tracks FM. As much as we added a lot of lighthearted moments over there, it's a very serious matter, folks. It's important that you actually know what you're looking at or what you're purchasing and what you're buying uh, when you look at advertisements or of medicine or any kind of medicine that you're going to buy and purchase. Please check out their website if you're not sure, pharmacy.gov.my to find out more about the kind of medication you're, you're looking at or you're looking for. And you can get a phone number over there, call them and, and speak to them. And yeah, most of all, be careful about what you purchase. Don't be duped by a lot of the uh, misleading advertisements that are already out there. And then inform them as well about some ads which you find a little bit fishy. That could be helpful because you can help them be the extra pair of eyes they need. Yeah, This is Tracks Momentum on Tracks FM.